Dramatic surveillance video shows the moment a masked gunman opens fire in a Lynn barber shop, shooting right through the front door. Two people were wounded in that shooting, including the shop's owner. Katie Brace is in Lynn tonight, where the owner says he has no idea why he'd be targeted. Rudy's Barbershop is open just one day after the shooting here. You can still see some of the gunshots in the walls. And now surveillance video is giving us new insight into the gunman and the chaos that ensued. Surveillance video from inside the barbershop in Lynn shows four men finishing up lunch when a man with a mask walks up to the door and fires a gun. In the morning, I, I, I think I died. Owner Rudy Bernabel hit the floor and scurried under the bench. The other three employees bolted toward the back. Boom, 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 I put on the floor. When I, I, I fell on the floor, on the floor, I give you, I give you in my hand, you know? The bandage on his forehead hides where he hit his head, diving for cover. Said for my, for my life. <laughs> a bullet did graze one of the employees as he ran. Rudy says he doesn't know who would fire a gun around four times into his business on Lewis Street. I don't know idea. I don't know idea why, why he do it. Less than 24 hours later, the barber shop was buzzing again with customers. While much is the same, Rudy's chair next to the door is marked by a bullet, a constant reminder of what he survived. Everybody happy, my customer, everybody happy when, 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 when somebody, when somebody know I, I'm working today. Police are still looking for the gunman. As you saw in that video, his face was covered, so officers are looking at additional surveillance video to see if they have any more clues. Inland, Katie Brace, WBZ News.